I grew up in Solon, Iowa, which is a small town uh, in the Midwest USA. Um, I grew up playing uh, a variety of sports, pretty much anything to get my hands on. Um, and basketball was uh, the one that was, I was the best at. The, the height definitely helped that out. Um, and so I continued to play on uh, at the college level and, and finished off at the pro level. I got to Australia originally um, when my college team did a tour in Australia. We played some professional teams. Um, and each professional team is allowed two imported players, and generally they're Americans. Uh, one of the coaches was looking for another import and asked me what I was doing, and I said nothing. So that's uh, that's how I got here. After we get done on court, we're, we're out um, in the city with the kids doing such promotional work in the schools, you know, clinics, getting out there, um, teaching the kids about basketball, but not only just basketball, but sports in general, healthy lifestyle. Um, you know, we just really try and give back to the community that, that has given so much to us. Hello, this is Karen. Since I can remember Hi, during my I'm studies, Lisa. I always knew I wanted to do something in the helping profession. And I grew up with a few cousins who were hearing impaired, so I was aware of what speech pathologists do. And once I started some of the classes, I just fell in love with helping people with uh, communication difficulties. So a typical day for me would be supervising a number of speech pathologists in our Coniston office, as well as now our office. Dave came out before we were married, and I was still continuing getting my master's, and then came back, and we got married, and four days after our wedding, we moved out here. We were out here probably about two years, and we really fell in love with the place. We thought, this is a great place. Um, I know we both just felt really, really proud and honored to, to be able to say that we're dual citizens of both the U.S. and Australia. I remember on the day they were announcing all the different countries that were present and receiving a certificate. Just thinking about how several people that were there were probably coming from, you know, a, maybe they needed to flee for safety reasons and just the sense of emotion that they would be feeling on that day and um, just how lucky we were and how fortunate we were to come from such a wonderful country and then now to be a citizen of another great country. I feel very privileged to be able to be a speech pathologist in Australia, knowing that I'm helping people with disabilities and helping them communicate better and having a better quality of life, so I feel quite privileged. I love playing in Australia. We love living here, so I'd love to keep playing professionally here, obviously. Um, love playing for the Hawks. Ultimately, any player, any player's dream would be to represent their country and, and play at the national level, you know. So that's obviously the ultimate goal. Um, but right now, I'm, I'm very happy with what I'm doing, playing professionally for the Hawks, and I, and I hope that continues for a long time.